Welcome to the video guys, the comedic farce that is 2020 has continued today with yet more nonsense coming out. This time it's relating to Iran and the US President Donald Trump. You might remember a little while ago the US Embassy was attacked, the God Emperor Donald Trump retaliated, which was reported in the news that Donald Trump had wiped out Jeremy Corbyn's friend, General Fried Salami or something like that. I can't remember what his name is and it doesn't really matter. Well, The Express and a variety of other media organisations are reporting this breaking news. Donald Trump arrest warrant. Iran launches sensational bid to seize US President. Iran has said an arrest warrant and Interpol red notice have been issued for US President Donald Trump over the killing of General Fried Salami earlier this year. As you know, he was hit with a missile from a Reaper drone, which literally fried his ass. And you might also remember Jeremy Corbyn coming out condemning the US president for it, despite the fact General Fried Salami had actually killed thousands of people not only in his own country, but also in others, and directed attacks against coalition forces in the area. Tehran's prosecutor said 36 people involved in the killing of General Fried Salami have been identified, including political and military officials from the US and other governments, according to state-run media, who might well be employing the carbonated chicken very soon. Just wait for the announcement, guys. Following a meeting with Supreme Judicial officials, al Quazi Mur said... Political and military officials from the United States and other governments have been identified as being prosecuted by the International Atomic Energy Agency. He added, President Trump is at the top of the list and that his prosecution will be pursued. This is the latest escalation in tensions between the two countries which are now reaching increasingly dangerous levels. It will also spark fears of an impending World War III that will send shockwaves throughout the globe. No, I ain't expecting that from this. That is a bit of media sensationalism right there. The US and Iran have been engaged in escalating tensions over the last few years, with the administration of Mr. Trump claiming Tehran threatens its allies, which is something the US have said for many years now. It's got nothing to do with Donald Trump. The latest heated argument saw US troops kill Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps General Salami in January. He was traveling through Baghdad when his two-vehicle convoy was struck by three US missiles on January 3rd. Four days after the attack, Tehran retaliated and launched a series of ballistic missiles at two Iraqi bases housing US. US troops. Under the presidency of Mr. Trump, the US has been pushing for an extension of a United Nations arms embargo against Iran. This restraint against the country is due to expire in October under the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, which the US withdrew from two years ago. Since withdrawing from the agreement in 2018, Mr. Trump has imposed sanctions on Iranian oil exports, which has crippled the economy. Earlier this month, Iran warned the US will soon kneel in front of an Iranian nation in another example of dangerously escalating tensions between the two countries. <laughs> what fucking world are these people living in? <laughs> the US will kneel in front of Iranian nations. Go fuck yourself, you stupid guns. <laughs> Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Abbas Mousavi condemned comments made by US Special Representatives for Iran, Brian Hook. In an interview with Al Arabiya said he was satisfied with the result of recent sanctions imposed on Tehran. But Mousavi took to Twitter to issue a huge warning, writing, you will soon kneel in front of an Iranian nation. That's still fucking funny every time I see it. <laughs> Trump ain't bending the knee to no one. He's got fucking thousands of people in America screaming at him to do it and he still won't bend the knee. Instead, he just sends in the riot police to clear him so he can go and stand in front of a church like a fucking boss. Like he's got to bend the knee to Iran. These people are fucking delusional. Earlier this month, the Iranian Tasnim news agency reported that the country's navy completed a test fire shot and long range missile strikes from the coastline and from war vessels in the Gulf. That's fine, America can deal with that, don't you worry. The claim that the weapons hit their intended targets with great precision and have a range of up to 173 miles, that's great, I'm sure that will reach America when they can just send anything they want at you without even needing to worry about it. Yes, Iran is not some piss poor nation with some terrible army, but they are not comparable to the United States of America, that is for sure. Terrifying footage of Urge, we don't actually care about any of that. Now I've got to say, I find it absolutely fucking hilarious, this entire article here, the headline and everything else. 
they are going to seize the god emperor Donald Trump. In what fucking world are they actually living in? From everyone in the world, with the exception of Jeremy Corbyn, people have said that the guy that was killed is actually a scumbag and fully deserved what he got, including apparently people in Iran who were actually happy about it. It does make me laugh that Iran actually think this is going to work, as you heard by some of what they were saying in this article. Given the things that this guy had done, the world will definitely not shed a tear for him, that is for sure. Now, as most of you obviously already know, I have joined the Parlor app and am very active on there. So so if you want to come and join me over there, the link will be in the video description. It is essentially the free speech version of Twitter. You can download the app from iOS or Android or even access it on a web browser. I'm not sure how reliable the Google browser is for that. So I would advise avoiding that if possible. But as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel and my other social media links are down in the video description. If you want to come and support me on Twitter, BitChute and a variety of other platforms, including my second YouTube channel. As I said, all links are down in the video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr. Verhofstadt against their empires, <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>